So far in this module, you have learned how to back up your databases, but, but if you have never done a restore, do you truly have a backup? So let's go over how you can restore your databases using tools such as the PG Restore and the PSQL. It's very important to note that before you attempt to restore a database, make sure you drop all connections. So there are basically two ways which you can do restores, right? So if you have backed up, if you have backed up your database as a plain text such as a .sql file, you would need to use the PSQL to restore this database. If you have taken a custom backup like a tar backup or a directory format backup, then you need to use the PG Restore tool to do a restore of your database. If you are restoring a database and you want to ignore errors if any occur during the script, you can just simply use the PSQL command, specify the username and the backup file. However, if you want to stop the restoration of the database if the an error occurs, then you would set the an error stop parameter on. So if you had backed up a single database and you wanted to do the restore, you would have to specify the database name and then the backup file. So beside the PSQL tool, you can also use the PG Restore program. You can use this to restore databases backed up using the PG Dump or the PG Dump All. So with the PG Restore program, you have various options for the restoration of the databases. So for example, the PG Restores allows you to perform parallel restores using the minus J parameter and then you specify the number of threads or number of jobs that you want to use to do the restore. So each thread restores separate tables simultaneously and just like when you're doing the backups, this will speed up your restore process significantly. The PG Restore option also allows you to restore specific objects in a database backup file. If you are migrating a database from a older version to a newer version, then you can use the PG Restore to do a restore of your database. So let's look at an example to use the PSQL to do a restore as well as the PG Restore. For this demo, connect to your server using the terminal or if you're on Windows, connect using the command line. So in previous lectures, we have done several backups. So do a ls to list the files within your directory, right? And here we have a backup that we use to backup all the databases. If you're supposed to run the PSQL command to restore the databases, you should get an error because they already exist. So as you can see, pg2 already exists, right? Also arrow and new db already exists. But if you are in a large database, you would ideally want the database to fail an error because you don't want to restore a database and there are problems within that database and you may have missed the error in the log. So you'd want to quit that restore just in the case an error happens. So what you do in this case is that you would set the on error parameter to on. So now re-execute the statement, I missed one dash. So it didn't proceed to try and restore the other databases because it failed on the demo DB creator. So if you are restoring a single database, you have to create the database first. Or if you want to restore it to another database, you also have to create the other database that you want to restore the database as. So connect to PSQL and create a new database and then restore the DVD rental as DVD rental prod and then create a new database called DVD rental prod you see the create database command DVD rental to restore the DVD rental as the DVD rental prod then you'll specify the new database name in the PSQL command so it's PSQL right and then specify minus d for the database name which you want to restore the database backup to you can also specify the minus v to have the output displayed on the screen so if you were to specify a database name without creating the database then you'll get an error just like we'll experience now so as you can see database dvd rental pr does not exist we also did a compressed backup, so let's attempt to do a restore using the PSQL, right? And the compressed backup file name. Now you'd realize you'll get an error when trying to do the restore. So you, when you're attempting to restore a database which you compressed using gzip, you have to use the same g and zip command 
when you're doing the restore right so you'd have to specify the gunzip tool specify the name of the backup file and then you pipe it to the psql tool and then specify the user that you want to restore as and then specify the database name so the database already exists so let's create a new database for the restore create database and we are going to call this compress restore so exit and now let's try to do a restore to the compress restore db now the database was restored successfully so the next example we're going to be taking a look at is the pg restore command in order to use the PG Restore to do a restore of a database, you need to have a custom backup, like a database backed up in the tar format or a directory backup. So the first restore we're going to do using PG Restore is a directory backup since we took one previously. I expect this restore to fail because a new DB already exists. So unlike when you're using the PSQL, you can specify the minus F for the directory backup because you'll get an error. So if I do the minus F, right, you'd get an error stating that the minus D and the minus F cannot be used together. So remove the minus F and then it restore. So as expected, I got the errors because the database already exists. Now let's take a tar backup of one of the databases and then restore that tar backup using the pg restore so i'm going to take a backup of the demo pg tree and save it as a tar file right so for the format you're going to specify capital f minus t t for the tar file do a ls on the directory now you should see your custom format backup so first create a database for this restore so let's create database so let's create database and call it tar restore. So let's do a restore of the tar backup to the tar database, which you just created. So it's minus D, specify the database name, and then the tar file. So this database is empty, so nothing much will be displayed. Also, if you try to do a minus F for the file, then it will fail also. So when you're doing the restore with the PSQL, then you specify the minus F to specify the file. Over when you're using the PG restore, you do not need to specify the minus F.